Dear friends, welcome to Civil Conclave presentation. Today we are going to discuss in our quantity survey part 7 regarding bar bending schedule basics and BBS for footings and neck columns. The available uh, size of the bars in the market today are 6mm, 8mm, 10mm, 12mm, 16mm, 20mm, 25mm, 28mm, 32mm, 36mm and 40mm. Generally, the standard length of the bar is 12 meter. How to calculate the weight per meter? That is d square by 162 will give the kg per running meter. That means diameter divided by the 162. Diameter square divided by 162. For example, let us take 8 mm bar. Weight per meter, 8 square is equal to 64. Divided by 162 will be 0.39 kg per running meter. Weight of per bar, that is a 12 meter bar, will be d square divided by 162 all multiplied by 12. That will be the total length of the 12 meter diameter of the bar, which will work out 64 divided by 162 all multiplied by 12 will be 4.74 kgs per bar. That is a 12 meter diameter bar. Now let us understand what is meant by hook. Hook, see, see this image. See, this is the length of the hook. This is a hook. This is a straight bar. This is a hook. This will be 9 diameter, which will be shown in this section over here. This length is 9 diameter. Okay. That is, so the length of the hook will be 9 diameter plus 9 diameter. That will be 18 dia. Now let us talk about a length of the bend. See, this is the length of the rod. This is the bend. Okay. Length of the bend is equal to 10D minus 16D. D is equal to diameter. Length of the bar is equal to length plus 12D plus 12D meter. That is the bend is 12 dia. Okay. This is the image of a footing column reinforcement here, which has been shown. This is a top mesh, this is a bottom mesh, this is a main bars, and this is a stirrups. So you now the component of the column uh, on a footing reinforcement will be a bottom mesh, top mesh, main bars, and stirrups. Overlapping. Overlapping wherever when the length of the column uh, bar is 12 meter. Whereas a four to four height is only three meter. If you can, if we erect a 12 meter, it will not stand for a long time. It will uh, slip out or it will be fall down. So to do that, to avoid that, we cut one over length, overlap length above the slab and tie with the overlap. See, this is the methodology of how to do the overlap has been shown here. You know, this is a vertical member. This which has come from the bottom. In the top, you have to joggle it out and put it out like this. Okay? Like this. Whenever a neck column, the columns which have been there, where there is a lap is going to be done, it's like this. Okay? See, this is nowadays uh, the mechanical couplers have been uh, available in the market. Mechanical coupler is beneficial if the dia of the bar is 16 meter, 16 mm and above, because due to which the concreting congestions, you know, due to the heavy reinforcement congestion, the concreting may not go down. To avoid this, using the mechanical coupler will be beneficial. It is totally depend upon your project and your project budgeting. See, lapping. Here you can see this image which shows where the lap has to be done, okay? Column 50 dia, neck column footing dia. For compression members, overlapping should be taken as a 40D. For tensile members, that is the beaver beams, the overlap taken as a 50D, but for both, we take it as a 50D for a generalizing purposes. Neck column footing overlapping will be 16D, Column to column is equal to 50D. General overlapping, 12 bar finishes, that is 50D into diameter. 
okay now we talk about a chair see this is a chair how we are erecting it whenever there is a major size of raft and everything due to the manpower walking and the concreting dead load this top bore top rods has to bend down to avoid this we provide such a chairs see here you can see the chair and how in the footing how the chairs has been tucked this is a single chair which we are being so there sometimes we use a double chair also if the top reinforcement is quite heavy crank bar crank bar it will be like this okay crank bar is be like this okay this is a additional extra bar the crank is 42d this length is a 42d okay this is a l by 4 okay this is a top bar and this is a bottom bar this is a 42d see crank is a 42d length of the crank bar is equal to length plus 42d plus 42d see this is the length this is a 42d this is a 42d d is a slab bar beam thickness that is a depth top of bottom cover top on bottom cover length of the bar will be l by 4 cover space etc covering blocks are used in providing covers for generally for a footing we provide a 50 mm column 25 to 50 mm depend upon the thickness of the size of the column beam will be 25 to 50 mm slab will be 25 mm see these are the cover blocks okay so when we say cover clear cover that means from the reinforcement stirrups okay this is known as a clear cover this is a cover blocks this is how we tie with the cover blocks for a beams this is the methodology of how to do the cover blocks for a slab spacing spacing which is known as between the space between the two bars okay see this is how it has been this is this to this is known as a spacing okay number of bars how to calculate suppose this is uh, this length is 10 meter and this is 15 meter so this bar how much will come down 15 divided by the spacing suppose if it is a, say 0.2 that means 15 into 5 75 Plus one, which we called as n plus one. Number of a stirrup should be actual length of the column or a beam divided by the spacing plus one. Steps in reinforcement calculation. You have to understand what is the length of the bar, number of the bar, how to calculate the number of a bar, which has been explained to you. Opposite length divided by spacing plus one. Total length of the bar. Length of the bar into number of bars in meter, diameter of the bar. It may be whatever the drawing has been showing. Weight per meter of the bar is equal to d square by one sixty two. Total weight of the bar is equal to total length into weight per meter per kg. <coughs> Let us now go for a how to do a calculations of a reinforcement footing. This is a one point two meter by one four one point four meter. Okay, x bar. This is the x direction bar. This direction bar is twelve mm, hundred mm center to center. Y bar. This is known as a y bar in this direction. Y axis, sixteen mm, hundred center to center. Cover I provided as hundred mm. Spacing I provided as hundred mm. Bend is equal to twelve d. This is for which we are going to do the calculation. This has been shown in this image. See x bar. Length of the bar is equal to L minus point one. That is the cover minus point one plus tall d for the bend plus tall d meter. So length of the x x bar is equal to one point two minus point one minus point one plus tall into point zero one two. Plus tall into point zero one two because what we call it as ten meters, so it will be n plus one plus length of the bar is equal to one point two eight eight meter. Number of x bar opposite direction total length 
divided by spacing plus one. Number of x bars one point four minus point one minus point one divided by point one plus one. So the number of x bars will be one point two divided by point one plus one num one. Plus number of x bars that it makes you 13 bars. Total length of the x bars will be length of the bar into number of bars in meter. Total length of the m uh, x bars will be 1.288 long into 13 meter. Okay. Total length of the x bars will be 16.744 meter. Diameter of the bar is 12 mm. So weight per meter will be d square per divided by 162 kg. Weight per meter will be twelve uh, into twelve into one sixty two kgs. That means point eight nine kgs per running meter. So total weight of the x bar will be total length into weight per meter in kg. Total weight of x bar is sixteen point seven 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 double four into point eight nine nine kg. So total weight of the x bar will be fourteen point eight eight four kgs for the footing which has been given. Y bar, Y bar, length minus point one and point one. That is the cover plus twelve d for the bend plus twelve d. Length of the Y bar is equal to one point four minus point one minus point one plus twelve into point one six zero one six plus twelve into point zero one six meter. That is length of the Y bar is equal to one point five four eight five eight four meter. Number of a Y bar opposite length divided by spacing plus one. Number of a Y bar will be one point two minus one minus one whole divided by point one plus one. So number of Y bar is equal to eleven bars. Total length of the Y bar will be length of the bar into number of a bar. So total length of the y bar will be one point five eight four into eleven. So total length will be seventeen point four two meter. Diameter of the bar is sixteen mm. So weight per meter will be sixteen square divided by one sixty one sixty two will make you one point five eight kgs. So total weight of the y bar will be total length into weight per meter per kgs. That is seventeen point four two four into one point five eight kg. That means twenty seven point five three four kg. Okay, this is the diagram. What I what I explained to you. Okay, this is a one point five meter. This is a one point two five meter cover of hundred mm. How this footing reinforcement has been tied up. Footing reinforcement calculation. X bar length of the X bar will be L minus point one on point one the cover plus twelve d plus twelve d. Meter. That is the length of x bar is equal to one point two minus point one minus point one plus twelve. That is the hook length called dia of the bar. Okay. That means what that what I said it twelve into point zero one two. Length of the x bar will be one point two eight eight meter. Number of x bar opposite length divided by spacing plus one. That means. The number of x bars will be fourteen number. Total length of the x bar will be length bars into number of bars per meter. Total length of the x bar is equal to one point two eight eight into fourteen meter. Total length will be eighteen point zero three two meter. Diameter of the x bar is equal to twelve meter. So weight is point eight eight nine kgs. Total weight of x bar will be. Eighteen point zero three two into point eight eight nine will make you sixteen point zero two eight kg. Like that, Y bar. The same methodology has been adopted. Okay, so total weight will be eighteen point five two four into one point five eight kgs. That means twenty nine point two seven two kgs. Reinforcement abstract of the tollam. Weight of the steel bar. In kg per m square, d that is the d square. Weight of the steel bar is equal to per running meter, 122 by 162. So, total y bar is required 277.063 kgs for a tall lamb. Okay. Then, becomes a 16 mm diameter. 
if all total put together it will come to 512 kg so now we come to the net columns see this is known as a net column which is come up to the plinth level here we had a footing from here you had a level okay this is known as a net column this is a main bar this is a stirrups the total height of the net column will be 1.65 plus 0.4 that is 2.05 column sizes has been 300 by 300 okay cover is 30 mm stirrups box basing 100 mm that is a 0.1 meter stirrup length after directing the cover 0.3 minus 0.3 Minus 0.03 will be 0.24 meter. So stirrup bar width will be 0.24 meter. Okay, you know because you are total 300 meter, out of which you are deducting a 30 plus 30 60 mm. That is a 240 millimeter. Column reinforcement calculation. General overlap 50 dia. Net column footing overlap I consider as a 60 dia. Length of the wind bar will be L plus zero four plus sixteen D plus fifty D. That is sixteen D is the uh, neck column lap length. That is another footing. Fifty dia is the lap length at the bottom. Okay, length of the bar will be one point six five plus four. This is one point six five the column height. Point four is the footing height. Will make plus sixteen into point zero one two. That is the bend length. Plus fifty into point zero one two, so length of the bar, main bar will be two point eight four two. Number of a bar has been given four. Okay, the total length of the bar will be two point eight four two into four meter, eleven point three six eight meter. So diameter of the main bar, what we consider as a twelve mm. So weight per meter is point eight nine nine kg. So total weight. Of the main bars will be eleven point three six eight into point eight eight nine will make you ten point one zero five kg. Now come to the stirrups. Stirrups is equal to length plus breadth multiplied by two plus nine dia plus nine dia for the two hook length. So length of the stirrup bar will be point two four. That is after deducting the cover plus point two four. Whole multiplied by two plus nine into point zero zero eight plus nine into point zero zero eight. That is one point one zero four meter. Number of stirrups. The total height of the column is two point zero five. What we mention it. So okay. Then you take in a cover at the bottom and the top. So number of stirrups are will be over around twenty one bars. Total length of the uh, stirrup bars will be. One point one zero four into twenty one will make it twenty three point one eight four. Diameter is eight mm. Weight per meter will be point three nine five kg. So total weight of the stirrups will be twenty three point one eight four into point three nine five kgs. That means nine point one nine five kgs. So neck column abstract. Weight of the steel bar. Okay. Total mm. One eighty one point eight eight kgs. Then number of bars one ninety two kgs. Stirrups weight will be one sixty five point nine two six kgs. This has been explained totally how the calculation has been worked out. Thank you for watching this presentation. Kindly subscribe, like, and share, which will motivate me for a further good presentation. in case of any queries do not hesitate to write to me the response shall be at the earliest you can contact me at civilconclave@gmail.com or at my telegram group the link is been provided below thank you for watching this presentation kindly subscribe and like this presentation thank you once again